Hi, my name is Dave Curry. I'm the Director of Safety for HHS Construction. Today we're going to discuss rod and roping. Rod and rope is a way to verify continuity of a section of a conduit between two locations. Rod and rope is used to identify a valuable path to place a new cable through an existing duct. Most rod and rope assignments are performed in manholes and vaults, and the method is used in sections between handholes and pedestals as well. All confined space protocol and processes must be followed when crews are working on a rod and rope project in a manhole or vault. The atmosphere must be tested continuously. Ventilation must be provided once the confined space is determined to be safe. It is also important to protect the public during the rod and rope process by correctly setting up traffic control and barricades needed for the safety of pedestrians. The rotter is pushed manually through an existing duct and once the rotter reaches the targeted location, a rope or mule tape is attached and pulled back with the rotter. Sometimes during the placement of a cable, of a new cable, an extra rope may be placed in case there is a need for an additional cable in the future. There are some rod and rope jobs that require the use of a mechanical power rotter. This method is more difficult and requires an experienced operator because damage can occur to existing cables in the conduit. Also, on occasion, ducts may need to be cleaned with forced water to clear mud and debris that has accumulated over time. This is called power washing. Major communications provider employ contractors such as HHS to verify path and place rope for future projects where additional cable will be needed as part of an infrastructure improvement, upgrade, or new build. 